So we're here at IDA Expo and we have a swing door operator installed and I want to show on this video some of the things that need to be done for a correct installation of the swing door operator. I'm going to open the doors here. This model is a Pro Plus 2060 and there you can see how the motor carriage is. So with the swing door, um, open is close to the wall. With an overhead door, open is farther away from the wall. So that means that the motor actually has to be reversed in order for the safety sensors to work in the right direction. You can see here that we actually have the limit stop, the open limit stop, which is close to the wall. In an overhead door application, the open limit stop is farther away from the wall. This also means that the operator arms have to attach to what is normally the back end of the motor carriage instead of the front end of the motor carriage. So you can see where the rope is coming out. That's normally the front end of the motor carriage. It normally points towards the door and the um, operator arm usually attaches to that. But in this case, that's pointing away from the door uh, because it has to be pointing in the closed direction. So we have a swing door coupler on this side that has to be installed and there's a separate video that shows how to install the swing door coupler. Basically you um, assemble the whole rail and then you turn it end for end and take the motor carriage out of the rail and install the swing door coupler so that uh, the operator arms can attach to the back end of the motor carriage. And the reason we do that is so that when uh, the door is closing, try it here. When the door is closing, if I break the safety beam, the door stops and reverses to full open. Uh, in this case, also, we are using the Pro Control Housing. You can see the control housing over here on the wall. So, if you install an Evo operator, you have to have a connector wire. So an Evo operator is like this one that has the control housing on the back end of the wall. There's two ways you can do it. You can turn the control housing upside down so that the motor is facing backwards, or you can use a connector wire and uh, install it, install the control housing remotely. Ideally, you use the pro version with the wall mount control housing, which already comes with the connector wire. And that connector wire actually plugs into the back end of the operator rail. See if I can get this high enough. Back there, there's a, a tensioner with the connector wire connected to it. And that wire runs down here and is this gray wire. That's going to the back end of the rail. The thing about the connector wire is that you can connect it to either the back end of the rail or to the front end of the rail. Uh, it doesn't matter. It can come out of either end, it just has to be flipped to match the chain orientation. And then the wire is 16 feet long and you can connect it. Uh, you can have the control housing, the wall controller mounted anywhere within 16 feet of either end. So that's the swing door kit.